it's no longer enough to tell people I'm having a sale. It's actually selfish advertising. True. The, the content, the things that are really making people stop and really pay attention are more content that creates value. Hey, Julie. Hey, John. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good. Awesome. Good. So what are we talking about today? So it's funny you ask. So I'm actually prepping for a call, and this is a client. They're extremely happy with us. They've been with us and have been advertising for about seven years. Um, they have a nice budget. They spend um, in total $6,000. They've got $4,000 that they're allocating for Google Ads, and then they've got $2,000 they allocate for Facebook advertising. And, you know, they're really just always looking for what's next. Um, they, they do about four professional videos through their TV um, company per year. And really at the end of the day, we've been doing very well with advertising for them, but they're looking how can they continue to drive down the cost for acquisition um, in their advertising campaigns. And, you know, I know you're at Google all the time. I know you spend time at Facebook and I feel like I've, you know, tried all of my resources. So just seeing if you've got any additional advice and how I can help them achieve this goal. Yeah. So that's a good conversation. I think that's challenging. And the good news is that they are recognizing that digital is where it's at. They've moved a lot of their budget there. Yeah. They're making four professional videos, you said, a year? Per year. Yeah. So I will tell you this. I mean, we live in a time where it's no longer just enough to be advertising through the channels. Like, what's amazing is Google, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. The pipes are there now, and right. it's amazing. We can throw advertising into those channels and get amazing feedback. And the analytics are clean, so you actually can see exactly what you're spending your money on yep. but listen that's becoming a commodity right getting through the pipes and getting an ad or posting on facebook just to say you're having a sale right. i will tell you i mean i think about what i look at and the content i'm looking at it's no longer enough to tell people i'm having a sale it's actually selfish advertising true the, the content the things that are really making people stop and really pay attention are more content that creates value, right? Maybe you're telling a story and maybe you're speaking specifically to a very specific audience. Right. So if they're creating four videos a year, I would say you should be creating 40 videos a year, honestly. And I think they should start thinking about the micro audiences that they are trying to connect with, right? So I happen to know who you're talking about and they're in a really affluent market. So talking to realtors, right? Making a video talking about realtors, how to create value right. when you're trying to sell a house. Um, how about, are you an, are you a new mother, an expecting mother? How to prepare your room for having your new child? I think it's the people that understand just the commodity now of advertising on digital in, in the digital channels isn't going to be enough. How creative can you be? Creative is going to be the variable. Right. And I got to tell you, this has all played out before. If you really look at our industry, um, TV, radio, newspaper completely dominated advertising. And the people that did that did very, very well. Right. And then all in 2007, the recession hit. Google became a really new way of getting in front of customers and not many people embrace it, but there's a company that we all know called Empire, Empire Home today. And Empire, back in 2007, made a transition and went all in on Google advertising. And I remember talking to our first clients, talking about the importance of Google advertising and what I would get and talk about what Empire was doing. And they would say things to me like, they're not even a competitor of mine. They can't. They don't do anything like I do it. They charge way more. Yep. And that may be true. Today, Empire back then in 2007 was around a $50 million company. Today, they're about a $600 million company. So those guys recognized how communication had changed. They went pot in 
and exploded that company. And I can tell you we're in a time right now where communication has changed. And if you don't recognize that, and that's not where you're putting all of your effort, if you're still sitting in the showroom and you're negotiating with your rep how to get 10 cents better off on a piece of carpet or how to get a free rack, and other people are taking advantage of the platforms and making content and learning that instead of handing it over to someone's niece or to the warehouse guy who does this part-time, they're going to pass you. The bottom line is communication has been hacked, and it is no joke. There's companies that are evolving that are coming out of nowhere, mattress companies, shoe companies, um, that are coming out of nowhere doing nothing but learning the leverage Facebook advertising and video and going from zero to $100 million. And then you see stories like Toys R Us going from these behemoth giants to gone yeah. because they're, they're really talking about and they stay romantic and they keep talking about what got them here. What got you here will not get you there in 2019. So again, if you're talking to this client, yeah. my number one word of advice, more content, more content, more creative. Do not post that you're having a sale. If you're posting today on Facebook your sales and you think you're doing social advertising and you think right. you're messaging, you're not. You're actually probably annoying people more than anything else. It's definitely a wasted post. If you look at the if you look at the shares, if you're honest with yourself, it's your employees and your friends that are even liking a post like that. But then you look at posts where people are doing things and are giving value and talking specific to a target audience. And those are the posts that will actually get people's attention. And once you have people's attention, then you have them, right? You can continue the conversation. You drive them to your website. You ask them to come to your showroom. But the very first thing is getting everyone's attention having them understand who you are, what story you have to tell that makes you different. The more you do that today, the more you'll stick out and your cost of acquisition on advertising when you actually do have a sale will get lower. So that's it. That's where we are. I mean, I can tell you, I just left Google and the pipeline's amazing. The analytics are amazing, but that's a commodity. Anyone can advertise on digital the creative that you put out there and the personalization of it is going to be the variable. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it and I'm ready for the call. So I will take that advice and see what we can do. Cool. Awesome. Go get it. Thank you. Talk to you. <laughs>